Charlemagne say the gang dunk it other day. Charlemagne, you are a donkey. <laughs> it's time for donkey of the day. Donkey of the day does not discriminate. I might not have the song of the day, but I got the donkey day. So if you ever feel I need to be a donkey man, <laughs> hit me with the heat. Yes, yeah, the Breakfast Club, bitches. Who's donkey of the day today? Well. My guy Ed Sheeran, uh, donkey of the day for Wednesday, November 15th, goes to the Kang, LeBron James. Now, LeBron deserves every every basketball accolade he's ever received. I'm not one of those people who will ever try to dull LeBron's shine and diminish what he's accomplished on that court. I don't get into the comparisons with him and Kobe or him and Michael Jordan because there is no comparison. Okay, Kobe and Michael are both better. But LeBron James is the best LeBron James we have ever seen, period. Four MVPs, three championships. The guy won a championship for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cleveland Cavaliers have historically been a third world franchise, okay? And LeBron James and the Cavs were down 3-1 to the 73-9 Golden State Warriors. Do I really have to remind y'all of this? Huh? The Golden State Warriors had the best regular season record of all time, and they were up 3-1 against the Cavaliers, and the Cavs came back to win three straight and bought the city of Cleveland their first NBA championship. That alone gets LeBron a statue. Okay, that alone solidifies LeBron James' legacy as an NBA legend, but it's one accolade that LeBron James has given himself that he will never be. And he gave himself this accolade yesterday on Instagram, okay? Now, on Monday night, the Cavs played at Madison Square Garden. And even though they were down by 23 points, they outscored the Knicks 43-25 in the fourth quarter and came back to beat the Knicks 104-101. Now, the next day after the game, yesterday, LeBron posted a picture of himself standing center court at Madison Square Garden standing on the Knicks logo with the caption, You're welcome, King of New York. Hashtag my favorite playground. Hashtag strive for greatness. Wow. Wow. Really, New York? How is LeBron James just going to disrespect Kendrick Lamar like that and call himself the king of New York, okay? Kendrick told y'all he was the king of New York on the control verse a couple years ago. Remember this? I'm in Poland like the Pope. I'm a Muslim on Poke. I'm at the offspring. I'm the king of New York. King of the coast. One hand, I juggle them both. Hey, Kendrick's the king of New York. I haven't seen anyone take his crown from him yet. So how is LeBron just going to take that man's crown like that? This is disrespectful. Now, what are the rules to being the king of New York? I'm not from New York. I'm from South Carolina all day, so I can be objective on this. What are, what are some rules you think in you to being king of New York? You got to be from New York. Okay, I, I I agree. I think the king of New York should have been born in, in New York or the tri-state area. Yeah, correct. And, and they should have done something incredible for the city. The people who are from the New York City tri-state area and then take things global. You know, like Biggie Smalls is the king of New York. Jay-Z is the king of New York. Diddy is the king of New York. Derek Jeter, he was born in Jersey. That's the tri-state area. Spent his life as a Yankee. Smashed all the bad chicks and gave them gift bags as a parting gift. Okay? He should be considered the king of New York. But LeBron? LeBron never played for a team here. He's never been a Nick or a Net. You can't be the king of New York just because you perform well in the garden. All right? You dropped 50 a couple times in the garden. You play well in the garden. You're not doing that in a Knicks jersey, sir. Imagine somebody started calling himself the king of Akron, okay? The king of Cleveland. As sensitive as LeBron is, you know he would feel a way and would be in somebody's press conference explaining why he is indeed the king of Akron, the king of Cleveland. So knock it off. How are you going to call yourself the king of New York, LeBron, when Hove is your man? Did you not think about him before you posted that tweet? And why did Diddy like it? Why did Diddy like it? I don't know why Diddy like it. Diddy, you are a true king of New York. Why did you like that Instagram post? I hope you liked it to let him know that you see him and that level of disrespect will not be tolerated. Or just to let him know we see you, so watch your mouth. I. It's crazy to me that you can claim to be king of New York just because you perform well in the garden. So is Bow Wow the king of New York because he sold out on the screen tour back in the day? Huh? No, no. Is Justin Bieber the king of New York because he sold out the garden a few times? I, it's no. crazy to me. I haven't heard any of the true kings in New York say anything about this yet. But the Secretary of Defense, when it comes to New York, Michael Rappaport, had something to say. Let's hear it. <laughs> LeBron James is saying he's the king of New York. Mother just rode the subway for the first time yesterday. Lucky it wasn't 1996, LeBron. You would have gotten robbed on the subway in front of your whole team. And then they would have made you keep them whack-ass sneakers as a punishment. Them is <laughs> still trash. King of New York. Mother never been to the Bronx, never been to Harlem, never been to Queens, never been to the Rucker, never been to Soul in the Hole. You never even entered an NBA slam dunk contest. Mother you ain't no king. We call mother 
It's like you a court gesture. Now here's the thing, I love Michael Rappaport's energy. I love that he's saying what a lot of New Yorkers want to say, but they won't because they don't want to ruin their chance to get a selfie with LeBron James next time he comes into town. See, if LeBron was to walk into a club in New York tonight, he would be treated like a king. Okay, even though all New Yorkers, especially in the hip-hop culture, don't like him claiming to be king of New York and they talking greasy now. If he walks into a club tonight, he gonna get a whole section. The club owners gonna forget the locals who come to the club all the time exist and they gonna treat LeBron and his crew with the utmost respect. Okay, and the local New Yorkers who are always at the club with disrespect, the DJ's gonna stop the music and shout out LeBron. And not only are they gonna shout him out, they gonna call him King James. They might even salute to the king of New York, LeBron James, and play empire state of mind no, they okay this is why these guys come to new york and claim to be king because they get treated as such even when they disrespect the city my name is charlamagne the guy i'm not from new york i'm from south carolina and i've been in new york since 2006 i respect the city okay but i have received old school new york treatment all right i've been almost jumped and knocked upside my head and attacked getting money out the atm mm -hmm. all in the rough borough of tribeca the <laughs> gritty not a <laughs> the <Manhattan>. gritty grimy <laughs> Borough of Tribeca, okay? <laughs> so borough. I understand that at the end of the day, New York is still going to be New York, all right? Some people here thought I disrespected them, so they met disrespect with disrespect. But when LeBron disrespects the city, he's going to get free bottles in the club, shout-outs from all the DJs, <sighs> and every dude in there going to want to take a selfie. Mm -mm. Y'all let these guys come here, smash all your chicks, drink all your liquor, take selfies with them, and all they give you when they leave is their ass to kiss and then claim to be king of your own city. Stop the D-ride in New York and get back to the disrespect. Okay? Please give LeBron James and all the D-ride New Yorkers who want to shine his crown instead of knocking it off his head the biggest hee-haw. Uh -huh. uh -huh.